Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing masala vegetable oats recipe. This masala vegetable oats is a perfect meal for breakfast, lunch or dinner in your weight loss journey. It's easy to make and super healthy. So without wasting much time, let's get started with the recipe. To make masala vegetable oats, into a bowl I'm adding in half cup old fashioned rolled oats. I'm adding in some water and I'm allowing the oats to soak for about 15 to 20 minutes. The vegetables I'm using are 1 medium sized onion, 1 fourth of a capsicum, 6 to 7 beans, 1 medium sized carrot, 1 fourth cup of green peas, 2 green chilies. Green chilies you can increase or decrease to suit your taste, 2 cloves of garlic and a small piece of ginger. I'm going to chop the carrots, beans, onion, capsicum. Chop the garlic clove, ginger, slit the green chillies halfway through. I'm chopping the capsicum. Carrot, and lastly, I'm chopping the beans. And I'm going to keep this aside. The oats are nicely soaked, so I'm going to drain this water and wash and rinse the oats a couple of times and then I'm going to keep it on a strainer. So I have washed and rinsed the oats and I have kept it on a strainer. I'm heating a pan with a 2 teaspoon wood pressed groundnut oil. Instead of wood pressed groundnut oil, you can use wood pressed coconut oil or any locally sourced wood pressed oil of your choice or even desi ghee. Once the oil is heated, add in 3 4 teaspoon jeera, also known as cumin seeds. And once the jeera splutters, reduce the flame to the lowest. Add in the sliced onions, ginger garlic and green chilli. Give it a stir. And lightly saute the onions until they turn transparent or light pink in color. And once the onions are transparent, I am going to add in some masalas. Half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 fourth teaspoon Kashmiri chilli powder, half teaspoon garam masala, pink Himalayan salt as needed, 1 fourth teaspoon freshly ground black pepper powder and give this all a mix. Allow the spices to saute for about a minute on low flame so that the raw flavor of the spices are diminished. Into this add in one tomato roughly chopped. Add in 1 tablespoon water and give it a stir. Cover and allow the tomatoes to get cooked. Let's check on the tomato. The tomatoes are nicely cooked. So I'm going to give it a stir. And lightly mash the tomatoes with a spatula. Into this I'm adding in a sprig of fresh curry leaves, the chopped vegetables, green peas and I'm going to give it all a stir. Cover and allow the vegetables to get lightly cooked. After about a minute open the lid, give it a stir. Add in the soaked and rinsed old fashioned rolled oats. Give it a stir. Lightly saute the oats for about a minute. Add in 1 and 3 fourth cups of water. So that is 1 and 3 fourth cups of water. Give it a stir, put the flame on high and allow this to come to a boil. At this stage you can check salt, if you feel you need more salt you can add in salt.
And once it starts to boil, give it a stir. Cover. Reduce the flame to the lowest and let it cook for about 10 minutes on low flame. The reason why you need to soak the oats is that oats contains phytic acid which is a nutrient inhibitor. When you soak grains like oats, the phytic acid is released. Phytic acid may cause indigestion issues to some. So those who has indigestion issues when consuming oats, do try to soak the oats or roast the oats before using so that the phytates are released. After 10 minutes, open the lid. Just give it a stir. And you can see that the oats and the vegetables are nicely cooked and this will thicken once it cools down and I'm going to turn off the flame and cover and let it sit for another five minutes and then only I'll serve. The oats will thicken slightly once it has cooled down. Five minutes later masala oats is ready to serve. So guys do try this healthy masala oats recipe and let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care, bye bye.